Last question. Uh, you said affordability changed a lot of things. Uh, you didn't say that. I'm paraphrasing. But that also shows something that uh, music in a civilization is a sign of prosperity. That so as to how much of the civilization is aware of music, and as affordability has be- decreased, I mean, more people can afford to buy instruments, and more people can listen to a lot more music. Mm. Music has changed. Mm. I mean. F- about a hundred years ago nobody had earphones and speakers and now everybody has them and now everybody is listening to music yeah that has changed music a lot it's yeah. become a lot easier to listen to yeah now that's a culture for example yeah so how is how much of a role is that in expanse of history of music it a role in what how has in terms of how M- music easy access of music has changed music is that the question uh, the question is how how prosperity and music have a relationship mm. well we see it even now actually you know there there that uh, there are a lot of guys who can ac- actually afford to become musicians right even though they're terrible at it and they can afford to stay terrible at it as well because you know they don't need to work hard to uh, to make sure that they're playing gigs and that they're playing good gigs and getting good gigs and this is it's true all all across the world even here but uh, the i think it's look at it from a consumption side first if you are if you are worried about making ends meet you know uh, and and you're working hard for hours and hours in a, a day it's going to be difficult for you to take out the time or even the money to s- to set aside to say okay I'm going to go and invest in a good system or let's say pods or, or whatever they are or go and watch a film or things like that because your priorities are just so so different you know your work hours if you, you start you, you leave home at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning you're working for 12 hours a day you get back home you just about have enough energy to eat go back to sleep right and it's still that way for for those who who actually for the, for the guys who really really work it is still very much like that you know so for them to be you know, they're not consuming the kind of music that we're consuming those guys aren't sitting around listening to lamb of god or um whatever that guy's name is that one of these rappy boys uh, uh, rappy boys <laughs> one of the rappers <laughs> rappy boys whatever m and m or whatever it is you know they you know those guys aren't listening to them and you know getting exposure to you know those guys and they they might have heard om jay jagdish you know because at some point they got married and the, <laughs> you know and one of the family members said you got to be there what whatever it is right but recreationally there's very little you know access that those guys have where they can choose to say i'm not going to do anything else and just appreciate the arts i'm going to go and visit the national museum okay and i'm going to take in whatever's going on over there it just doesn't happen right um so then it becomes different strokes for different folks man mm. you know but i th- i mean affordability it's it's always been a big it's mozart wouldn't have been able to we, we wouldn't have heard mozart if there weren't people who could afford to pay him mm. to just do nothing but make music mm. you know he had patronage right from mm. from various people so he was in someone's court in austria and someone's court somewhere else in this and the other 